Hi there and welcome back. So this is part two of making um, a, a flippy flappy, um, I'm calling it, you know, like a, a woodland uh, scene. So I was I was thinking about this because obviously I've I've put the file folder um which I'm putting it in away for for now. But um you know this could actually be <coughs> be the front um of the file folder if I wanted it. I mean originally I'd start building it up thinking it was gonna be one of the inside pieces, but um yeah, I may end up putting it um <coughs> on the front which then made me think I ought to probably start thinking about how am I going to keep these down, um, <clears throat> you know, from all flipping open. Now, a few weeks ago, I did uh, a video on doing all different uh, closures. So I pulled this out with, with the leaf and I thought if I put it onto this next uh, envelope behind, it will definitely uh, catch those two and hold those behind. The only other one that I've got, which would be loose, is this one. I've kind of thought... Could I put a brad on there? Yes, I would have to put something <clears throat> on the underneath. I could just pop a butterfly there or put another tree there and maybe catch some string around it and, I don't know, take it off somewhere. No, it would have to be somewhere um, like that. So I may uh, think think about that when I get to to this envelope here. If I was using it on the cover, I mean, even if I was sticking it down inside a file folder, I could attach it here. Hold on, let me think about this. I was thinking about attaching it at the back, some string, and then bringing it over here. I don't know if I've got like a big enough brad head that I would be able to wind something round but I remember Wendy at her journal adventures using some um, <coughs> eyelets pressing them down to give the brad <coughs> a little bit more lift so maybe I'll be able to if I get a long um, I'm going to call them tails, legs, uh, brad. I may be able to put one or two um, of the pressed down eyelets underneath to give me that um, to wind wind around. And I think it being, you know, just like a brass uh, brad will make it look a bit like a, a, a doorknob type thing. So <clears throat> that's my uh, thought on that. So, so far... We've done this one. This is a little tuck here. <laughs> and we've got a tuck here and a pocket here. And I've not put nothings on here. I've opened this top one up and I've opened this side one up. And I've just covered um, that one. So we're going to complete this one and then we're going to do this one and um, remember to put that on. So let's just pull um, this this away. I'm going to pop that on there so when I pull it back in um, I remember. So I have got some um, bits out. I've Did I open the side? Yes, I've opened the side and I've inked um, all around. So we've got uh, this, which there is a hinge on, so I could glue it um, like so and make it into a pocket, which I'm not um, doing on on this one. So I'm just going to cut this um, down like so. I'm going to ink, ink around it. And I did get that bark um, stamp out. If you watch the um, preparing 
um, for this project. Um, I picked some stencils and um, stamps out. What? Excuse me, I ran out of uh, memory on the phone again. Right, so I'm going to ink this out. And he's going to sit at the top of this. Now, I've got um, this stuff. It's like a plastic with a moss over it, which um, Rita Jensen sent me. So I thought I could stick that there and that could uh, flip flip up and I was thinking oh, I might put an animal in there or or something and then I thought no I'm just going to stencil some like bark and then it could be an incy wincy little secret you know you could write um, a little code in in there or something you know um, like a a password type thing or somebody's birthday or um, something or you know it's just fun fun lifting <coughs> lifting it up so I don't want to be stenciling on that so if I do it like as if it, it's that knot uh, bit I'm going to try this oh oh Ooh. <laughs> nearly got it on my um, lovely lovely paisley uh, trousers but I didn't so this is that new um, saddle Saddle brown. Oh, isn't that lovely? So yeah, you probably can't really write on it, but it's fun. So I'm gonna attach that um, to to there, like so. Um, all I've done is. I got an oval, uh, I just punched out an oval and cut it down a bit and stuck it to the back so you could obviously do it with a circle or any, any bit of paper, well it's card and I'm just, just hold that down um, a second. So I think once it's pressed um, against them or the envelopes, I, th I think it will all lay down uh, fine. So I'm going to pop that uh, there. So let's stick stick that down. I'm, I might leave that side open um, just in case I want to poke something. Uh, behind it so let's just leave that, that side open just in case and I'm just going to lift it from the bottom a little bit I wonder I don't want to be too because obviously that is a moss um, stuck down so yeah that will <coughs> we'll learn to it will learn <laughs> to lay you down. Okay. So, I don't know why, but, um, I, well, I think my print had run out of card and this has ended up being on paper, which um, I wouldn't normally um, print. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to have to move them down a little bit. That's it. Okay, that's um, I've got some of that saddle on it, haven't I? Oh, that's nice. Okay, I don't know, you probably can't, <coughs> can't see see that um i know that it's here um the plastic had had come off and i want to keep that that on okay so that's that bit um 
I was going to put this as if it was like a, a bush um, at the side. So let's tear that down. So I'll just go around here and stick that down. I might actually put that behind it so it's taller rather than wider. Hi. So that's stuck. <laughs> no. Okay, now I'll just give give a bit more height. Okay, if I do it, let's take that off. Do it like like that. Okay. Yeah. And then I've got a few these are hair bells. Um might uh, bring that off and have that coming out like so. Build all my glue up. Okay. I don't know if to have this long here. It's just He's looking for any excuse to bark. <laughs> Can I just rip that one? Don't be afraid of, of ripping um things things down, you know, to, to fit fit where you you want them. That's it. And then I'm just gonna have those two there. There's hardly anything on this brush as you you probably know. <laughs> You're probably thinking, well she's not not put any ink on it for ages. Okay, so that's that's that. Lovely. And then I've got this uh purple butterfly there, which I'm gonna pop pop down. And that is is that. I'm thinking I'm probably <clears throat> like a word um there, but I'm gonna wait until all the pieces are done. Um because I obviously don't want words on, on every single one, but that that'd be ideal uh, for a word. So that is is that. I think that's really cute. Oops, I thought thought for a minute I'd got it um <laughs> the wrong the wrong way. So those two are going to go right to the bottom. This one I want a bit uh, higher. And I must remember <coughs> that I want to put um, this on. So do I want that higher? I'll probably think about that when I've put the paper on. So... 
that's got the, the paper. So I think that looks nice <clears throat> across from across from there. I'm just put these fingers by. So I'm gonna do the sky um thing again and I'm gonna rip it this way because um that's too too wide. So that's um I mean in theory that's fine but um we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna take this out for for now and put that there okay that goes that way so let me just use a pencil and I'm just gonna tear down okay I'm going to cover this back in this green. It is uh, really a portrait one. Oh, I can still do it. Portrait. Um, I'm going to cut the top off on one of the sides. And then I'll, I'll stick it down like I have been doing. And then cut, cut around it. Just saves a lot of measuring. And to be honest... When I measure things, that's when things go go wrong. Um, because I'm, I'm not the, the greatest at it and I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I've managed uh, 50 odd years and <laughs> not being very good, um, you know, measuring. So it's fine. Right. using the clout just so I've got some time to to wiggle it and if any of the edges one sticking down after then I can use the tip of the art glitter just to just to get get those okay so I'm gonna lay that on. I don't have to go all the way up because obviously the sky's going to be there. So to save a little bit of paper, I'll go a bit further, further down, which is crazy because I've obviously just glued it all and wiped it on there. Okay. to um you know get rid of any of the white where where i've ripped it now just gonna place that down without pushing it down because i want to put um two trees down yeah that'll be fine so let's um let's put some glue across this edge Just using the tea stain. Um, I don't want this to be, um, you know, dark. Um, when I do the grungy one, I'll use the, the gathered twigs. Okay, so that is um, that. So now I'm going to work out where I want um, that. Okay, I've messed about with the front a little bit. And I think I like um, that formation 
uh, better that you open it like that and then you open um, that one. So, because it looks as if to me that, it, you know, this wall carries, carries on. Um, so that really would be the ideal place for that to, to go. So let's move these out of the way because I know that I want to put this tree here. So it would actually be here. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to glue this down first. Let's just do that. I'm going to use um, that watching my fingers and hands and just flatten that down as much as it it will go and I mean that had you know already been stamped in in greens and and things when I made it so I was thinking of I could continue that like so. So I'm going to cut around this um, more and ink it up. Okay, so I've cut that out, and I think that fits <coughs> fits in there quite quite well. And then I'm just going to attach some um, die cut cut leaves. And yes, I know it'll be different colour, but if you look at the tree, it's all different colours anyway. And, you know, all trees are different um, colours. If you look, um, you know, close closely. I'm just making sure that that's not you know gonna catch that so I'm pushing that really uh, down just gonna take it off there Actually, if I'd have just stamped um, more green, but obviously, you know, I didn't make it um, for this. But if, if I had it done, I'd have probably just stamped uh, more green. But that's OK, I was just checking. Um, <clears throat> I, want to, I want to put these down. So I'm going to just stick them stick them on. I'm going to have to be careful because obviously this has got to to move move around so you know to be fine um, there. So I've stuck those down and I've just inked uh, slightly over the top um, again. So before I stick it down, I'm going to re-check. Um, so yeah, I think I prefer that like so. And I'm going to put... 
uh, one of the bluebells there and I think I'm going to put one in in there as well. Oh, I have. Yeah, just pop one, pop on that. Okay, so we want the tree. I need to double check. I'm gonna say it all. It all slipped. So if I want it coming over there, I'm gonna move that up slightly. Yeah, it can't go no higher. That's gonna go in there. Like so. So that can go there. So yeah, if if it goes there, it'll be fine. So that's where <coughs> I want um I was gonna call it bark. Um trunk to go so I'll just have to make sure it's right uh, when when I attach the actual envelopes and I only want to attach them as I go um, just just in case you know I might change change my mind Okay, I can cut that off if if need need be. So that's that's that. I don't know if I've got any more of that green. Um, I just feel that, or I might get the green out and just stamp it a little a little more. So. that's that's that okay okay right <clears throat> now i've got the other tree which has got um the circle in it i'm just going to ink around there and i think i will put something um in here find I'll find a bird to sit in in there so I'm just gonna I think I'll stencil some leaves on it okay so my thought was my only oval punch is one and a half inches so it doesn't quite uh, fit but what I thought is, if I cover this in, hmm, leaves, so I've got the olive um, stays on and this leaf um, stencil. Okay, 
and then I don't know why I'm using brown I think it was all that I could um not all that I could find but um yeah that moment I think it was um why I've got this green out I am just going to stamp there that's better it's a bit more camouflage now okay so that's that and i was thinking of uh putting this green julie um brad in here like so and then putting that through here yeah could have done with it being a bit further down let's do it do another one okay that's better that up and squash them legs down a little bit okay um and then that'll i'll go <laughs> like like so um and i'm just gonna stick these over the top so this was a vine kind of thing and i've just um torn it into three so we'll pop yeah I could do with a leaf up there like so and there's the other bigger bit here that there and hope that it doesn't you know stick stick down on those ends okay <laughs> yeah that's funny um and just pop pop that there like so so i'll root round for a bird or a small owl in a minute <coughs> So that's going to go here. So we obviously want that. Let's put that there for a minute. Right, I know I've inked around here, but I don't think I've got the that's it. So, so we'll stick stick this down. sure they're pressed on because I obviously don't want that to, to catch it. Let's get that. Okay. can move this out of the way a second. Right. And then I've got um, this lovely stag here. So let me just move that round. Or it could go... Yeah, because that wouldn't come down to to there. It should come down to there. Yeah, I'm going to pop him uh, there. Oh, 
the camera's not wobbling uh, <clears throat> too much. Yep. So he's gonna go like that. And then he's got a friend, so I thought he can go and kind of like him like that, rather than, I don't know, um, I don't think I'm putting the, the bush there. Could perhaps put, yeah, I'll pop that down. This I've already inked this at some point. Okay. Ink around this. Yep. Pop that and that. Do we find in some uh, more tiny? tiny butterflies so that's that's that it doesn't go you don't like that but right let's um, find something to go to go in that um, gap there get some lids on okay so I've got um, I've sorted through all all the bits and took a lot of the bigger things um out so we can and i've had a play with um i'd have liked it if that owl would have fitted but is a little bit um too too big i mean i could have like made a slit into there um so you would have only seen the top bit i'll have to remember that um next time so this bird does fit in there so i'm just gonna ink around and if he goes there just and then he looks as if he could do with having a little bit of a a branch so maybe I want to put this in. I'd, I'd lost him then. <laughs> right, I'm going to stick him down first. I'm going to have to leave this up until it's totally uh, stuck, stuck down. So let's, let's get him in there. I don't think it matters the teeny bit of his uh, beak. Yeah, that should be fine. Let me just use that pokey tool. That's it. So if I leave that to uh, dry, what have I done with the, that bit of stick now? It's on my finger. <laughs> So maybe if I just put that in, I think that will look 
that a lot fine. I could do with with some tiny scissors. Yep. Oh, I can't. I could do with just putting one of those leaves on on the inside, but I think that'll be that'll be fine. Mm. Yeah, that jewel fell off as well. So I have put some, some glue on there. Yeah, that will be fine. So that's um, that's that. Um, I thought I'm going to put uh, some of this wall um, here to match those other bits of wall. Just ink around that and then I might be able to stick some of the envelopes together um, I'll have a look so that's that <clears throat> like so and I was going to put those flowers there I've just ripped uh, a little bit off it again There, and I did see an odd couple of uh, butterflies somewhere. Mm. <laughs> I did, but yeah, I definitely need to have a look in my tub to see if I've got any um, more tiny butterflies, otherwise, I'll have to print the sheet out again oh come on there definitely was ah there's one there a nice blue one it's a little bit big I don't know. there was one on its side as as well did i not put it I felt as if I'd kept it there. Well, if I come across it, I'm going to uh, pop pop that. Ah, there it is. So let's pop pop that there on the on the flowers. That's better. Okay, so I've clipped those together. So yeah. Layers. So that's gonna go like that. This is somewhere here. Probably need to bring that down a bit. Ooh. Ooh, might be too. super so I can definitely I don't think it's worth it do you um I shall not attach any at the moment so that's that then we open that that's that <laughs> then we open that that's that oh I want to open this up so I 
think this is going to be better opening at the top so I'm just going to cut like that and then just take the very top off and then when I get to there I'm just gonna cut cut up okay and that's that pocket obviously this bit will glue in and then when I cover the back um, I'll make sure that I don't put glue in in that bit so that is is that so far and yeah I'm really really chuffed with with how it's going so that there as soon as we can get some um, more joined together I think it uh, won't be won't be as awkward but um, yeah I do like that and I don't think it matters if it goes that way or or the other I suppose it all depend once it's all finished and, and stuck down I think now we've got um, those then um, oh my God. these are from those uh, dies um, from eBay Yeah, I think that looks nice with two on it actually. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of think about what, what the next uh step is. So I will cover that and we'll do that. Um, next time so I'm going to look at the ephemera uh, that, that I made uh, before to see if there's anything I mean I could put that other because then it looks as if it's like two bunches together doesn't it or so that would be I mean, I'd still need some paper uh, behind it, but then we'd have a nice uh, pocket there. I probably wouldn't open that envelope um, then. But yeah, I, I like that. So, or it could go, you know, that side. But I think I do quite like it uh, together. So that could be uh, the next part and I don't think that's, that's going to be too, Ew, it's not too wide, so this, these will be definitely too wide, um, so I've got that one. all I've got didn't didn't obviously make um, that that much now I like that and then that could be um, a pocket I am I think I'm going to end up putting that that side, to be honest. And I think if I have some big trees here, um, and then 
have that across there oh yeah that, that's gonna be be lovely okay so if i get this one and this one uh backed and then um we'll be able to i mean that actually fits sticks on there doesn't it that would be very interesting and I do like that. Yeah, I think that goes better than that other. So that would open. You could write in in there because that would go flat. It's just that this stuff there. And originally this was going to be a pocket um, board. I think I would open that or I could put a pocket inside um, from from the kit so yeah I think next time we'll be able to get those two done and that one um, because they're quite um, quite quick aren't they um, I didn't do any more now because we are approaching that that hour um mark so oh yeah i'm excited <laughs> to do next times again um i'll probably add add some more bushes and and things um to that yeah i like that on there because I, I don't want it oh i don't know we'll see we'll see but no i think i think that'd be nice on there and yeah that is very nice um on there so i'm just i probably don't need to back that do i once i've inked if i ink i mean i'm just thinking i can do do this one uh now if i might just bring that in yeah, so I've inked all the way uh, around. I am going to stick this down fully. And I will put a little pocket inside. So there's a video. Um, of me making these these pieces that I've got ready made up um, I did those last month and there is a playlist with all the Bluebell Woods uh, projects in which will obviously grow um, you know as I, as I do more more videos so that that looks fine. Let's open that up and give it a press down. What I might do, um, which I probably will do, is get that blue and just uh, get that splatter and um, just put some onto onto there so it um, goes nicer. And I may as well do the same with this and get that stuck, stuck down. And I'm just gonna directly stick it, stick it down. Um, I could have, I'm gonna stick it three sides. Um, because it could it could be be a tuck of this side, but obviously the bag is um, a pocket, a big pocket.
Okay. So I think Zante can now be joined uh, together. So I might as well use that. I don't know. Put those together. I did this last time, not on this one. Obviously, you really do need to put glue on that because um, that is right on the edge. So that's going to go there. It's going to go there. And then I quickly need to. I don't. I'm going to cut that down. And then let that just just dry. Okay. I hope everything's the right way. <laughs> so we've got that, that, that. Yeah, that's that's right, and we've got that one in the middle, haven't we? Somehow, and this one here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right. So yeah, I'm pleased about that. We've obviously got got a bit further, a bit further on. So I shall see you um, next week and um, yeah, we'll get these envelopes finished finished off and then we'll decide if this is going to be um, my cover, which I don't think it's going to be because um, I've obviously bought that beautiful um, material. Um, and um, yeah, so see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.